I'm Kate Milliken and welcome back to Ectrums. Vitamin D deficiency, smoking, and the Epstein-Barr virus are three environmental risk factors that have been studied as potential triggers for MS. Let's check in with three researchers who can give us more insight into where we are today. Vitamin D is a very hot topic right now, and uh, there's a lot of interest in whether or not it is uh, causally related to MS uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, because it's a modifiable risk factor. Um, people can take vitamin D to increase their vitamin D levels, for example, or um, spend more time out in the sun. Sun exposure is intimately linked to the production of vitamin D. People have looked at uh, vitamin D levels in uh, in different populations, and for the most of the pop of the population in the northern hemisphere, um, in, people in general are deficient for vitamin D. Today, we presented the results of a study in adults, and in this study, we were specifically interested in looking at whether vitamin D levels were associated with the development of new lesions on brain MRI scan and the occurrence of these new lesions. People having higher vitamin D levels had fewer new lesions. We conducted one study within the U.S. military where we were able to obtain serum samples on military members prior to their development of MS. In those samples, we measured their vitamin D levels, and individuals with higher vitamin D levels had a lower risk um, of developing MS. There are a couple of concerns about just generically taking vitamin D. It's tempting to think it's a vitamin. It must be okay. Vitamins are drugs, too and uh, to assume that there are no toxic side effects associated with this medication um, is a little bit far-reaching. It has an impact on a lot of different parts of the body, many of which we don't fully understand yet. In our research, we focus on the role of Epstein-Barr virus infection. We see that there's an increased risk of MS following a primary infection with EBV. We find in the MS population, um, about nearly 99 to 100 percent of people with MS are infected with EBV. We were able to look at a cohort of people who were EBV negative follow them over time and see what happens after they become EBV positive and their risk of MS was, uh, was increased. Smoking is associated with an increased risk of MS. People with MS who smoke seem to have um, a shorter time to, to progression, specifically people with relapsing or remitting MS having a shorter time to, second, to developing secondary progressive MS. With cigarette smoking um, as a risk factor for the disease, people have then gone on to look at that as a possible um, factor in the progression, and it does seem the studies that have been done um, are consistent with cigarette smoking um, increasing the rate of progression of disease. The more we understand what may cause MS, what may be risk factors for MS, that may translate into how we can affect progression. I definitely believe that uh, medicine is uh, moving towards a, a more holistic approach. Uh, integrate the genetics with the immunology, the immunology with the animal models, animal models with the neuroscience, and put it all that in a coherent model. Though the Ectrums Conference is coming to a close, research is happening everywhere all the time. We will be continuing the conversation with our blog, videos, and news feed. We hope you'll let us know how we're doing and how we can do better. We'll also be bringing you one more daily minute about cognitive function, so be sure to check back in the next few days. For the National MS Society, I'm Kate Milliken, signing off from Amsterdam.